Before starting the house wrap, we decided to add a bead of silicone between the wheel wells and the plywood sheathing. The last thing we want is for water to find its way to the sheathing, and this area seems like it would be prone to that happening. The house wrap was actually pretty easy. We did two walls at a time using a 9 foot roll and started about a foot around the first corner. To start off I threw a few staples into the top corner and then we stretched it out along the wall. Once on the other side, I used a few more staples in that top corner after pulling the top tight. Then we went around the next corner about a foot and cut the house wrap vertically. I pulled the top corner tight again and stapled there first. After that we just went around and made sure it was all fastened down and pulled tight. Starting at the bottom of the middle of the wall, made sure to keep it wrinkle free. Again it was actually really easy, we didn't go overboard on the staples, we just used enough to make sure it would stay fastened around the windows and door, without getting too close, especially above the openings, since you need to be able to cut away a flap when installing windows. We did the exact same process on the other two walls, then stapled and taped along the two seams. We were pretty surprised by how simple the whole process was. It was probably one of those jobs that can be a lot more complicated if you don't approach it right. We watched quite a few instructional videos on how to use house wrap, and it made this task a breeze. The top pieces were a little more annoying to do, but that was mostly because it was windy and I was doing it alone. Still, it just came down to being somewhat conservative with staples, making sure to tape the seams well and carefully cutting off the excess.
With the house wrap on, we can install windows, and that is the next video in this series. Thanks for watching. It really helps me out if you hit that thumbs up if you like this video, and click on the Rookie Roost logo to subscribe to the channel. If you click on that little bell icon, you can get an email notification when new videos go live. You can also follow the daily progress of the build on social media and over at the Rookie Roost website. Check the description below for the links.